Well, check her out. Kind of feels like some bigger head shakes. Not like super big, but no, it's pretty big. I don't know, it's pretty big. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty big. I lied. Everything I just said, I lied about. I oh. did. Oh my goodness. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. As you can tell right now, it is dark. And I have a few reasons uh, why it's dark and we're filming our intro. No, not because we're just getting out here and starting the day of fishing. No, that is not true. So we actually got to this lake um, at a reasonable time. I think one o'clock, 1.30, something like that today. And we planned on actually filming an underwater video for you guys. And let's just say things didn't work out the way we wanted them to. So that is the reason why we are already at this point in the video after dark. Uh, we have caught quite a bit of fish. And if I go in to the shack here quick, Brandon can tell you more kind of what's been going on tonight. Oh, wow, is it nice in here? Right below me. So we got Brandon jigging in here. We got the live scope. Oh, oh he's right below me. He just won't come up and say hi again. So, like I said, we're in here jigging right now. We're out on one of our favorite walleye lakes that um, has been producing pretty good. So, you probably already know by the title and the thumbnail, but I'll spoil it right now. I may have caught the biggest walleye of my life again. I know I've already, <laughs> I've already titled a video uh, saying that I've already caught the biggest walleye of my life, which a couple weeks ago, it was the biggest walleye of my life. Tonight that changed. Tonight it changed. Right now we're just kind of chilling in the shack, waiting for some more flags. Oh, oh, but look at that one on the left coming in. Oh, there are fish all over. We are on a weed oh. line right now, uh, which if you guys watched our last video, we talked about how much we like to fish the sandy, rocky to a weed line. It's pretty much oh, there's four of them. Wow. One on the left, three on the right. Oh, he turned. He turned. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, there's fish all over. I don't even know what else to say. Guys, big fish in the area. Big fish got to eat. Stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss this one. Holy cow. Big fish. <laughs> big fish. Big fish. We got an audience behind us now. <laughs> Full pack of snowmobiles just pulled up. Big fish. Big fish. First fish of the night could be oh. a giant. Yeah, it's a good fish. A lot of power to this fish. Can't tell if it's a pike or if it's a walleye yet. <laughs> Holy crap. He's stuck again. He's right below the hole, but it's, he's got it wrapped into that. He's got himself a hole. He's digging into the ice. Well, what an awesome way to start the evening. Not an absolute giant, but a very thick and heavy, beautiful, healthy fish. Alrighty. Well, just got done operating on that fish. Beautiful pike, not an extremely long fish, but definitely a healthy one, that is for sure. Wanted to bring him into the shack where we could stay warm, operate on him, and obviously keep him in the water as much as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and get this big guy back. Wow. That guy took us for a pretty good run, that's for sure. And there he goes. Woo! Alrighty, well, I'm gonna get myself cleaned up here. Like I said, that one got me pretty good, um, but that was just the first fish of the day. Like I said, I was hoping for that one to be a walleye, but if it would have been, it'd have been a great big one. <laughs> we were nervous for a little bit there, but whew, good to get that first fish out of the way. It's probably, it's gotta be just after four o'clock now, maybe 4.15, and that's our first flag. Sundown is supposed to be at about 4.45 tonight. So this is kind of that window where we wanna try and get on top of as many fish as possible right at sundown. So we're gonna go ahead, get everything cleaned up here, get that one back up and ready for hopefully a walleye, not another pike. 
Oh my goodness. Adam. Go. It's not that big. But Ooh. I don't care about the size because this is a walleye, <laughs> which is the targeted species. So that is awesome. He was cruising. He was doing some slow spins at first. And then he started to just freaking take off with it. I almost, for a split second, I'm not gonna lie to you, I thought maybe it could have been, could have been a pike. Caught right here in the roof of the mouth. Oh, Beautiful. Fair. Probably like a 20 inch fish, nothing crazy. Nice and gold. Whoa. I was gonna say, you wanted to go back and I put him in the freaking water and he doesn't even move. <laughs> All right, well, Brandon's got a pike. I got a walleye, that's the first and uh, just beginning to be sunset right now so prime time the next half an hour we should get a flurry of flags i would imagine i'm excited to get back to the shack because this is on a weed line we're on a weed line over there so if they're here they should be there so we're gonna go try to catch them holy cow here we go got him can't tell quite how big but head shakes for sure it's a pike. Just kidding. <laughs> There's one. All right, there fatty we go. For its size. Yeah, fatty. Look at that. that. Thing's probably only about 16 inches long, I would say, but chunky little guy. Nice little fish. Go ahead and try to get this one unhooked right away because we just got another flag that just popped. So get them unhooked right away. Man, that is a chubby little thing. Look at that. That's what we like to see. There we go. All right, well, that one's going back and we got another flag up, so let's go check it out. Well, let's check her out. It feels like there is a fish there. Wow, took out a lot of line. Had some slack. Yeah. Kind of feels like some bigger head shakes. Actually. Not like super big, but. No, it's pretty big. What is it? Are not you gonna like, need a hand? No, it's not mega. I don't know, it's pretty big. Oh, it's pretty big. I lied. Everything I just said, I lied about. Okay, it wasn't running, so I didn't think big, but I, you heard me right away in the beginning saying big head shakes, but it wasn't really doing anything. It was very lazy. That's it. That's 28. That's Gotta 20. be. What is Gotta going be. on? All right, I'm going to take everything inside, tip up and all, because we have heaters and everything in the shack and uh, we're gonna operate on this fish and take some proper pictures and videos for you guys. Well guys, got the fish in here, got the tape measure all ready to go. Have not gotten a measurement on this thing yet, so I'm super excited to see. This could possibly be my 30 incher that I've been spending my entire life on, let you know. So go ahead, that thing is absolute giants. I mean, oh not the fattest God. fish I've ever caught, but stout, stout fish. Holy cow, turn this around here. Whew. This isn't gonna be the best way to measure it because I wish we had a bump board, but this is all we have. So, that's what we're dealing with. Oh, <sighs> guys. Oh. It's not. 29 and a half. It's not 30. Just over 29 and a half. It's not 30 guys, <laughs> but it is a 29 and a half inch, easily 10 pound, could be 10 and a half pound Northern Wisconsin walleye. This is my new PB. I can't even believe it. I've already broken my PB now twice this winter. <laughs> I don't even know, I feel so blessed. I've been spending so much time, you guys. I know obviously see how many videos we post, but I've been spending my entire life chasing a fish like this. I've never caught one 10 pounds up here in Northern Wisconsin and this is, an absolute true giant. It's getting me closer to that 30. Cause guys, I tell you what, if you came out and you caught the 30 incher, well then what would you be fishing for, right? They just, they gotta tease you a little bit. <laughs> Half inch. I'll be back though, don't you worry. There she goes. Wow, that just happened. Look at that fish. Look at that, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, that might be her. Oh yeah. That's her. Oh look, on the live scope right here. That's that fish I just released right there. That is crazy. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's a big fish. Yeah. Oh yeah, cause it's a 30. <laughs> of course it's a big fish. It's a 29 and a half inch walleye swimming away. We got two tip ups out of commish right now. Yeah, we've got two out of commish. We could have one up. We haven't even looked out the window in the last like five minutes. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead. Um, almost still in disbelief. That, that fish, uh, w w when Nick grabbed the tip up, I mean, there was there had to been at least five, maybe even 10 feet of slack line that you were like, yeah, and then is it there, it is it no there? Way. And then, yep, there's one. Big head shakes, doesn't feel huge. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> PB, biggest ever, dude. Holy crap, it's running. There we go. Oh yeah. Fish on. Fish on, it feels like a good one. Oh yeah. Nice head shakes look like. Yeah. It's a tank. Oh yeah. Oh, I just got a 29 and a half and Brandon's hooked up to a nice one. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I can't get that through the eye. What? The eyes are frozen up. Got it, got it, got it. Here we go. This is a tank. This is an absolute tank. Oh, that's another giant. Giant, giant. walleye. Oh my God. That's another 28, probably. On the frostbite rod, on the iFish Pro. Giant. Yeah, I didn't get nearly nearly as fun of a fight oh my gosh giant oh my goodness oh he doesn't want to come up this hole no Coming back here we go here we go here we go here we go oh oh that's 27 all day oh come on just got to get his head through oh my god oh my goodness <laughs> what a night <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my goodness. That is an absolute pig, you guys. Definitely my nicest walleye of the year. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rod. Nice and easy. Let's take this eating. right into the shack. Okay, well, got her unhooked. Get a quick look at her. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a night. Oh. Ah. Not quite as long as Nick's, but definitely Definitely fat. Just as fat, if not fatter. Definitely, probably fatter. Right there. 27. 27. Just over 27, maybe in a quarter. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is a heavy fish. That's 29 and a half to a 27 and a quarter. Wow. Literally back to back, too. Okay, well, might take just a second. Very cold. Again, that's the reason why we came in here, but wow. Look at that fish. Nice quality fish. Look oh at the gut on this thing. Well, now I don't feel as bad for taking that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Take just a second. Very healthy, beautiful fish. Another awesome northern Wisconsin walleye. All right, she's starting to get back here. Go ahead, say goodbye. Wow, that is amazing. That is unreal. What the heck is going on? That was so cool to see all those big fish on the screen while I was in here jigging. And then, oh, there she is. yep, there she goes. I was waiting for that. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. That is so neat to see them come through like that after releasing them. Oh, here's this, look at this one. Another one coming in. Giant. Oh my gosh. Like I said, we've seen multiple, multiple big fish coming through on this weed line here tonight. And uh, well, Nick broke his PB, 29 and a half. That fish was all of 10 pounds. That one that I just caught, just over 27, had to have been all of eight pounds, but a big gut to her. Super healthy fish, super amazing night. Just blessed to be out here. Woo, this is unbelievable. Let's go get everything set up and try to catch one more. <laughs> Woo. Well, another tip up. I fish pro time. Brandon just caught a 27 and a quarter out of this hole. He was just running. Got him. It is not giant. <laughs> it is not giant. Let's 
Seems like another fish. Nice one. There we go. Well, look at that. <laughs> so used to freaking giants, I didn't think that. <laughs> it didn't even feel like there was anything on. Well, probably like a well, 15, 16 incher. But we got another flag right now. I decided to go with the 50 50 here and choose the iFish Pro. So hopefully I'm not wrong. And Brandon goes, well, I actually don't even care, actually, because I already <laughs> caught a 30 incher. But hopefully there's another fish on it, regardless of what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and unhook this guy. He's right here, right in the lip. Get a release, maybe. See and ya. we're going to go get that other flag. Okay. Just had a little movement out of it. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah, look at that. Just a slow turn. Fish is still here. Got him. I think it's just a little guy. Head shakes. Oh, it's decent. Come here, buddy, just a little guy. Oh. Woo, okay, well, that's two little ones in a row. Oh my gosh, full of energy. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this guy unhooked. One last look at him. Fish is going back. See ya, buddy. Woo! Okay, that is fish, what, number seven or eight on the night, I'm gonna say. And two giants, couple little ones out here tonight, a pike, not looking too shabby. We're gonna get this reset, warm up in the shack. It's actually warming up, which might be part of the reason why we're getting this flurry of fish to come through. It was really brutally cold out here tonight. It's actually warming up after the sun went down, the wind's almost completely gone. Conditions are looking much better. Well, well, well. Another tip up. Fish is on. Doesn't feel like it's 30. Feels like a 18 incher. 18 you're calling, huh? Something like that. That's not bad. Not 18. I don't think it's 18. Probably. 15? 16 and one quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Quarter. Okay. Oh, there she be. Get him back. Oh. There we go. All right, minnow is still kicking. Put him on real quick. Maybe that other flag will have Brandon himself a 30 incher. That's the goal. We walked out here. There's two tip ups up again. We walked out here. Nick's like, not this one, the other one. Okay, took it, caught a walleye. Now, come over here and the iFish Pro just went off. This one's not moving, but I think I'm gonna take it. Freaking up just a little bit. Seems like there's something there, I believe. Got him, Oh, Hey, buddy. How's it feel? Feels okay, big head shakes. Nope. Just a feisty little guy. And I like, is actually going insane. I just heard it flip. Yeah, I just I heard the iFish fish Pro. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Holy hey, cow. Hey, we just got another tip off. Oh, that's what we heard was the second iFish fish Pro. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Well, apparently every tip up is actually going up right now because now we have another 50-50. Another 50-50. Let's go. <laughs> this is insane. All right. One last look at him. Go ahead. Send him back. See ya. Okay. Now it's Nick's turn. Well, I'm going ahead and going down in line. This was one that went up first in the group. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> this is insane. Well, probably that one might actually be the 18 incher that I called out on that last one. Nice fish. Gonna hurry up and get him unhooked and then we're gonna go get that other tip up man we are getting so much action tonight it is absolutely insane too bad we're not in the shack jigging i would love to be but we keep on getting too many freaking flags well i'll tell you what we are getting a good variety of fish out here tonight and uh definitely getting a good chance to check out the old frostbite rods i mean not every fish has been huge, but it's always fun on the old iFish Pros. 
Not that the beaver dams aren't fun too, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check out this one. I don't even think this one's gone up all night, has it? I don't think so until now. Let's just give it a whirl. Nothing. Okay, well, this one got away, unfortunately. The ice uh, underneath the hole froze up. You guys talk about hole covers. Uh, we got a hole cover, still not working. Too cold out here tonight. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this one set back up. I don't even know how many fish we've got at this point, guys. It's been absolutely nuts. We've got two lines out of commish. We gotta get this one set back up as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We are gonna be heading back home here shortly, but we had a lot of fun out here tonight. Let's see, maybe give them another 15, 20 minutes and uh, see if we get one more flag. The thing I said about it getting warmer earlier, I mean, it's it not went from awful, cold to still like... cold, but a little warmer. <laughs> yeah. And the thing about cold. waiting 15 minutes, we waited about 30 seconds after that tip up. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get 15, 20 minutes. We got about 30 seconds, and this one just went up. No movement, but uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, see what's shaking and baking because, well, we've had a lot of small ones come through, and you just never know. Got them. No, I want to say it's a fairly small one. Oh, that is very not even, small. Not even 17. Just a little guy, probably about 12 inches. Last one for the night. Got a little growth on him, kind of interesting. Go ahead and get this little guy back. Fish seem to be getting particularly smaller for the most part. We've had our fun. We both have to work in the morning. We're going to go ahead and start packing everything up. We only have two flags still in commish. So if one of them goes up, we'll show you the catch. We're gonna go ahead, get everything packed up, and we'll see you guys back in the truck. Whew. Well, we finally made it back to the vehicles. We're all packed up and we're ready to go home. But before we leave, just wanted to say thank you guys so much for tuning in today and just kind of talk to you guys about how today went. It was a little bit crazy and hectic at times. Usually this lake is very good as the sun is going down and uh, we noticed that it was good when the sun finally set and the bite definitely continued into the evening hours into dark. Now, some of you guys have been asking, what do you guys run as far as tip ups, your line? Uh, what do you guys use on your rods? We're gonna have almost all of that stuff down below for you guys to check out all of our equipment. We are running frostbite rods and PC fun reels. Huge shout out to those guys because they helped us land some gigantic fish tonight. Nick broke his PB walleye ever I broke my PB ice fishing walleye actually. We thought about it later on and we we're like, pretty sure that's the biggest walleye you've caught during the ice fishing season and it definitely was. So we had a pretty outstanding night out here guys. The bite was crazy. Pressure was slowly going up and that's definitely helpful to getting into some of these walleyes out here tonight. So again, we're gonna leave some of that info down in the description for you guys to check out. What an amazing night. So we're gonna go ahead, pack everything up. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you guys are new to the channel, if you guys wanna see some awesome walleye fishing, stick around. This is some of the best walleye fishing content you are gonna see on YouTube in the Midwest. Stick around, hit that subscribe button, also hit the notification bell. We'll see you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NBS.